in the set bat. It's down 2-0. Now she's worked her way back to get two strikes. That's on the ground to first and a race for the bag. But Broadfoot makes the tag for out number one. Team with his culture at UAB. There's Dorset to left. Catch made, two gone. Guys and doubles. Looking for her first hit of her career against Alabama. She'll swing and miss there. And Jayla Torrance has a clean top of the first to start off the ball game. Third and Kendall Clark, a real highlight for the Tide last night. On the ground is short. And well played by Dorset for out number one. And those are the kind of outs. A career 364 hitter against UAB. And that's well hit out to right. Miles retreats. It's over her head. Callie Hevlin will slide into second. And it's a one out double for the Crimson Tide here in the first. Kelly Hevelin putting on a clinic for how you hit a drop. Was in the three hole for game three against Georgia Tech and has been there pretty much every day since. And big reason why, the hits and also the ability to get on base as she draws the walk. Against Samford, the Tide hit really well in moments like this. But Giles swings and misses and Volback has a big strikeout for out number two. Been hits for extra bases. And she stripes that to center. Wiggins will make the catch to in the inning. So Volback gets out of it, and we go to the second. Grows. We had Mike Andrea in the house a couple weeks ago, and Coach Murphy was talking about how Mike had, had impacted him. Evelyn could not field it cleanly. It was well placed by Volback. At the top of the second, Alyssa Aguilar will show Bunn again and lay it down. Torrance, the throw is wide. Volback will head for home and she'll slide in safely. Aguilar stands at second and UAB leads 1-0. Bunt, the issue is that this needs to be fielded by Bailey Dowling. Jayla Torrance ends up taking it. She's been throwing underhand the whole game, makes a mistake on the throw, and that allows Volback to score all the way from first base. UAB looking for more. And another bunt. This time it is Dowling. One down, but the runner does move to third. Got her. Strikeout for Torrance for out number two. That's lifted out to right, and it will drop. Clark couldn't make the catch, and Miles has the RBI to make it 2 nothing. Field. Callie Hevlin doesn't know if she's going to go get it, and neither does Kendall Clark. One of them has to call each other off, but neither does, and that ball ends up dropping for a run scored. We'll try and keep the inning going. Well-placed bunt. Torrance's throw took Broadfoot off the bag. Wiggins to short, and the flip from Kahalen ends the frame. But UAB grabs two, helped by a few mistakes from Alabama. Tide will try and answer when we come back. 7-8 due up, starting off with Bailey Dowling against Volback. First pitch to short. Dorsett's throw is in time. Spectacular from the freshman for out number one. Play tournament, 14 appearances in OKC. Dorset, nice slide, and the throw is in time. Look at that freshman go. Hannah Dorset does it again, this time going to her forehand, Good, knowing that I'm a ground ball pitcher. That's so over to third, and a little easier play for Smith. Side retired. UAB leads it 2 nothing. going to the third in Tuscaloosa. For the game, get to chat about how much she loves this job with UAB. And Jayla's job is to hold them and allow her offense a chance to get them back in this game. Dowling 
sends Torrance away and comes in to make the catch. Ball back out to right. And this time Clark is there to make the catch. One, two, three for Torrance. Bama Bats coming. RPI does take into account home and away and losing at home is never good. And that's a good start to this third from the freshman Lauren Johnson. Second hit for Alabama. Lead off on. Out here tonight. There goes little sister Lauren. What a throw. Got her. Drody mows her down. And there's one away. Was ready for this behind the plate. Gets a ball right down the middle. Makes a great throw. And Lauren Johnson just slides into that tag. Perfect execution. And now Johnson sends one to right. That's carrying and it's gone. Jenna Johnson, a solo homer out to right. And Alabama's on the board here in the third. That going, but again, this is the type of hitting that Alabama has to have to be able to beat Olivia Ball back on a drop ball pitcher. You've got to wait on it. You've got to let it get deep and attack it to the opposite side of the field. Just the third home run allowed by Ballback this year. And that one hit Hevlin. She'll head for first. First, and that's such an important at bat after the home run. And she'll scoot her way over to second on the pass ball. But again, when someone hits a home run, the ones just have a little bit less of a bite and stay in the zone. So as a hitter, it's, it's hard to navigate whether the pitch is going to stay in the zone as a strike or it's going to keep dropping. And that's how she has her success is getting you guessing. And there's ball four. Dukesher will head to first. Runners on the corners. One, two. Got her again. Pate will take off for second. But it's another strikeout for Volback. And now two are down here in the third. The plate, you're really confident in letting it skip the dirt. There's Kahalen out to center. One run will score. Pate will race for home. And Alabama's in front. Thanks to Kinley Kahalen. Right, Kinley Kahalen gets the first pitch, attacks it, gets it past the second baseman, out into the outfield, and that'll score two runs. And now Alabama's got the lead here in the third. A great stop and throw to retire Dowling. That's off of Volback, and the ball rolls into no man's land. Two are on. Clark, that's hit hard, but Colette is able to collect herself and in the inning. To third. One away. That's popped up. This time, Hevelin ranges over to make the catch. 2-2, two, two. that's sent skyward by Drody. And right to Kendall Clark, two in the inning. Jayla Torrance, another three. That really good run at the Women's College World Series last year, but only losing Ashley Rogers and Carlin Pickens stepping in and taking a lot of the innings this year. But I want to go back to that Ole Miss. Win. Having a win over Ole Miss and playing in these strong games helps them out. Man, Dorsett's having a great game at short. Two down. Second team all conference last year. And this time she'll hit one to Wiggins, who runs in and makes the catch for out number three. Nothing doing for the tight offense. And that's past Hevlin. Two for two night for Hannah Miles. And back in her hometown, the Tuscaloosa native is thriving, and she's on to lead off the fifth. Dupree off the glove of Torrance. Miles will round third. And UAB ties it up, and now it's thrown away. 
The ricochet went back to Broadfoot. But Auburn Dupree gives UAB a run, and we're even at three. Auburn Dupree just hitting this ball hard, putting it on the ground. Tips off the glove of Jayla Torrance, and Hannah Miles has speed. She's going to score from second on anything in the outfield. Tie ball game. Different look and try to shut this offense down. Dupree takes off. The throw is there from Giles. One down. Gets up, throws a bullet to second base. And Auburn Dupree is out by a step. That's on the ground to Kahalen. Quick throw gets Wiggins for out number two. And Dorset grounds it to Kahalen. Inning over. But UAB gets a run. Two of the best players in the conference go against each other in Koffel and Skylar Wallace. There's Hevlin, and that gets through. Lead-off single for Callie Hevlin, who's having a nice up in the circle and take oh, the quality innings. There's Smith at third. Chance for two is unsuccessful, but one down. And again, on the other side, you know, Florida was here at Alabama a couple weekends ago and, and trying to rip it to the opposite side of the field. That time, Giles takes ball four and two on for Alabama with one out. First pitch over to first and Aguilar will step on the bag for out number two. Nice job by Olivia Volbeck. Experience and it would be really good for her to get hot for Alabama. That went over to Smith though and Lindsey Smith Makes a throw to first to end the inning. Volbeck gets out of it. We're still tied at three. Go. And she'll swing and miss there. Giles will throw to first to complete the process, but it's a strikeout for Brisky. North Alabama, where it's been in the 40s, 50s, sometimes hitting 60, but March in Florida is much different than March in Alabama. Payoff to Crow. Got her. Jocelyn Brisky strikes out the side. Struck out two, but has really gotten the key outs in big moments all night long. That's a fair ball from Clark. The throw is a hair high, but strong recovery over at first by Aguilar for out number one. North of 90 pitches facing him a Broadfoot, who's 0 for 2. And Broadfoot has it stopped by Dorset. Can she do it again? No. Broadfoot beats it out for the one out single. Maybe not a straight steal knowing that Jordy's arm is so good. Oh, that gets away. No play needed. Kristen White will stand on second with one out. And there's a walk to Johnson to set the table for her older sister. Johnson, that's off the glove of Colette. Kristen White will come in to score. And Jenna Johnson steps up to give Alabama the lead here in the sixth. Let's the ball travel, get to her. She stays in her legs and just goes with it. Tips off the glove of the second baseman. And that's the go ahead run for Alabama and I think he's just reminding her of that. That's on the ground to third. Smith will throw home. It was the right choice. Johnson's out. And Patrick Murphy. Again, I think it's the call was out, so there's got to be evidence. And the call is confirmed. She was out. 
Two on for Abby Dukeshire. Over to Smith, and she will step on third to limit the damage. But Alabama grabs a run. And now <laughs> Popped up. Broadfoot's there for out number one. A fielder for Alabama is Larissa Pruitt. And Brisky catches Tucker looking for out number two. The one, two. Got her. Giles will throw to first to secure the victory for the Crimson Tide. And Alabama wins it four to three to stay unbeaten all time against the UAB Blazers. A stellar performance to get the win. Alabama moves to 24 and five on the year and UAB will drop to 12 and 16. The Blazers were game, but Alabama survives here at home.